I'm Kelsey Berenger, CEO over at Packback. Packback is a platform that offers online discussion and essay writing products, both powered by artificial intelligence. Where tools like ChatGPT are a form of generative artificial intelligence, Packback is an instructional AI platform. We never write on behalf of students. Instead, we use AI to create feedback loops for students and instructors that were just previously not possible. Our essay coaching platform, Deep Dives, uses AI to give students real-time writing feedback mapped to the professor's rubric. And for instructors, our AI is providing suggested scores for each mechanical component of the rubric. Our discussion platform, Packed by Questions, uses AI to help guide students to write great questions and responses. And our AI is also auto-moderating the community by flagging posts that potentially violate community guidelines. Our latest product release, AI-generated text detection, is the newest model added to both platforms in our auto automated content moderation workflows. What I'm going to do now is show you how AI-generated content detection works in our discussion platform, Packed by Questions. Here is a testing Packed by Community or course, and here you can see questions. These questions were actually written by real students at North Carolina State University that I used for this demonstration. So let's say I'm a student and I want to answer this question. I'd click Add Response, but let's say I'm feeling a little lazy and I don't want to actually do the work myself. What I can do is copy and paste this question into ChatGPT. I'm going to wait for this to generate a response. ChatGPT was able to provide a pretty lengthy response, so I'm going to copy and paste. I'm getting feedback to the right here that is going to tell me that this post might be repetitive or that I need a thesis statement, a source, a piece of media. I'm just going to go ahead and submit this. Now what's happening is in the background, this post is going through a series of checks from our AI, and our AI is looking for things like historical plagiarism, so was this from the web, was this from an already submitted post on our platform, is there profanity, or is there any sort of behavior here that is not academically sound? The other thing that it's looking for, was this post written by AI? Now I just refreshed the page and what I have here is the fact that my response has been flagged for violating community guidelines. It's not yet removed, but let's go ahead and take a look at the admin view of what it looks like when a post is flagged. Now our Packback administrators are Packback employees that review all posts that have been flagged and ultimately decide if the flag can be dismissed or the post does need to be moderated. So here is that post I just posted that it may have been generated by AI. So as a moderator, I decide, should I dismiss this flag or moderate the post? And I'm gonna go ahead and moderate this post. Now let's talk about what happens from the student perspective. I am back in the student view as Kelsey student, and I have a little notification up here, and I am given a notification that my response was moderated and unpublished. And the reason why it was generated by AI or may have been generated by AI. So what has happened is the student was flagged for violating a community guideline. An actual human being rebu reviewed the flag and made the call, should this be moderated or should this just be released? Nothing happens. The call was made that this should be moderated, so the post was unpublished, but the student is notified and given the option to edit and resubmit. The other great thing about Packback is students are actually going to get an email as well with this exact same information just in case they aren't live on the platform when the moderation happens. As a student, all I have to do is click edit and republish. I'm given the opportunity to edit my work, republish before the deadline so that I don't have to fail to learn from my mistake. If a student doesn't edit but chooses to update the post, it is just going to be flagged yet again for violating community guidelines. So students must engage in the editing process in order to move past this flagging mechanism. Now, what I just showed you was live in the Packback discussion platform. Now, AI-generated content detection will be live in our essay platform, Packback Deep Dives, by the end of the month. What I'm going to do is show you a mock-up of what this will look like. As instructors are scoring student assignments, they will be given alerts from our system both if there is a sign of historical plagiarism, so external or internal plagiarism, 
they'll be matched to the external sources we detected, but they'll also be given a risk of AI-generated content detection, so low, medium, or high. We're also going to provide instructors with guidance if they do see high, things like, hey, check the references, check for novelty, and also just have a thorough discussion with students. We're incredibly proud of the work we've been able to achieve in such a short period of time to provide professors and institutions with peace of mind that academic integrity can be upheld in their writing assignments in a chat GPT world. But we're also incredibly excited for the future about what it looks like to evolve alongside ChatGPT, 